Hi everybody, this is Mark Gibbons with 50 North Yachts and today we're going to have a look at Motor Vessel Miss Judy. She is an incredible 2010 55 foot fair line with a length overall of just under 57 feet and a beam of 15 foot 9. Come on aboard and take a look. Alright, so now looking at some of the really feature rich uh, pieces of this boat, starting as you enter onto the boat, we've got a teak swim platform with a passerelle. This is a boarding platform. This will also uh, help you to load and unload your tender, which will sit right on your platform. Boarding is through two easy steps here to the port side through a, a gate to the port. As you can see, we've got a great lounge uh, aft. We've also got our access to the flybridge um, right in front of me. Uh, along with two side access uh, decks um, with great walk around to the bow. Uh, finally in here we do have access here to our uh, lazarette, call it a crew quarters, but really it's a great storage area with a lot of good space uh, for extended cruising. Alright, here we are on the flybridge. It's tough to not come up here and want to just sit down, relax, and check out the view behind me sit here in this great wraparound couch that sits up to probably 10 people. This table drops down so you can create an entire lounge area here. You'll also notice that I'm sitting all the way aft on the flybridge. Sometimes flybridge areas are wasted with sun pads here, not a lot of usage behind the chairs. They really utilize the entire flybridge. Great engineering uh, feat that they were able to extend that all the way back. Speaking of engineering and things that they do that are really key to the quality of this boat or have elements of quality of this boat is you see the stainless steel uh, piping here for the frame of the uh, bimini top which is extends the entire length of the flybridge. It's beautiful. As we come forward here we've got this great area for the skipper to run the boat. Recaro seats, super comfortable multiple air ways to adjust those seats gives you great navigation ability and you're not going to be alone because you've got a great companion seat you've also got um, sun pads that circle even forward up here there's an area to lay down and then this uh, area back here uh, turns into a lounge chair or you can lay all the way down if I went the right way that would help lay all the way down and it's a full lounge chair so you've got all your navigation equipment up here works out great finally we'd be remiss in not showing you the wet bar we've got an ice maker under here and then of course we've got a grill and a nice uh, freshwater faucet up there that's the flybridge let's go in and take care of a look at the salon all right so we enter the salon through two large double glass doors and as we come in we see to port we've got a really well appointed leather sofa nice wrap around you'll notice immediately the high gloss cherry really high quality beautiful stuff uh, we've got an entertainment system that's the B&O this is a high uh, a high low so the TV does come up you know it's banging Olufsen with a nice surround sound system take two steps up and we get to the dining area and the galley great because everything works together. The dining area here, again, leather appointed seats with a nice fold out table. That comes out, beautiful cherry wood table. Super good condition all the way around. Brand new carpet just installed a few months ago. Uh, we've got nice hard countertops, double sinks over here, double faucets with your microwave. You've got a dishwasher, double refrigerators, storage both uh, low and high here. And then finally, we've got some great uh, windows here that open to give you some cross ventilation while you're sitting at the dock or you're underway. And so here we are at the lower helm of the boat. The center line of the boat is our control station. Really easy way for you to, when you come on and off the boat, with one push of the button, you can control most of the systems of the boat. Uh, the lower helm is a really comfortable area with great visibility. Of course, all of our electronics, uh, including our uh, Garmin system, our Caterpillar displays to monitor the motors. These seats are multi-adjustable electric seats, uh, comfortable wheel helm, lots of storage below the, de uh, below the seats. Uh, and we've got a couple of map areas as well. Great place to run the boat from down low and, and control things from here. Here we are in the master stateroom located amidships. She's got a three stateroom layout with the VIP forward and the guest stateroom to starboard. As we come around there, you see we've got a nice sized bed, fantastic large windows with opening port lights, entertainment system, a full head to starboard. It's got, again, opening port lights 
a separate shower with a bench seating and a separate toilet room. All right, so moving forward from the master stateroom, we go out to the companionway and right into the guest stateroom, which has two large twin beds, opening port lights, an entertainment system, and a nice hanging locker. Coming out of that, moving forward again, we go to the VIP area, which also has access to the day head with a separate shower. And you'll immediately notice how bright it is in the VIP area. It's got just a great overhead port light as well as a window forward. Of course, we got the cherry wood, large windows, storage under the bed, and we've got two hanging lockers to both port and starboard.